Disney is not having a good 2023. This has probably been one of the worst years for them ever, I think. And they've had some bad years, but have they ever lost this much money at the box office? I love how people will say, well, they have a total gross of all of their movies of this number. Like, that's an accomplishment. They don't get all of that money. You, you realize that, right? But you know, we're going to grasp for straws, I guess. Every movie this year, I believe, other than Guardians of the Galaxy number three, they've all been flops. And the only reason Guardians of the Galaxy 3 did good is because people love those characters. And you kind of know what you're getting with a James Gunn comic book movie at this point. And whether you like the man or not, people do enjoy his movies. I enjoy his comic book movies. So I had no doubt that Guardians of the Galaxy would be three. Guardians of the Galaxy three would be good, and it was. It was a little bit more depressing than the usual Guardians of the Galaxy movie, but it was still a good. It was a good end ending for all those characters. I won't be interested in any Guardians without without that cast or Gunn helming it. He's going over to DC, which I'm sure. The fact that the only person that made them money this year is now working for the competition and <laughs> making all those DC movies. But anyway, let's get to Wish. Probably their biggest embarrassment. And I know Marvel's lost a lot of money, but Wish is a little bit different. Wish is an animated movie. It's a Disney production, not a Pixar production. It's a Disney-made movie. And yes, Pixar movies are Disney-made, but... This isn't made by Pixar, which is, you know, it's its own problem right now. But Disney put this out. This movie is supposed to be dedicated and celebrating 100 years of Disney. And it's a failure. How fitting that a tribute to Disney movie fails. 100 years of Disney is celebrated in this movie, and it is outright rejected by audiences. And it's fitting for this company because of how far they've fallen. Oh, we want to remind you of our greatness, even though this movie doesn't do any of that. It was supposed to. It was supposed to be a movie about the origins of Wish Upon a Star. Instead, it became a movie, I guess, about overthrowing an evil old white man. So... Uh, activists, once again, working their way into that Disney magic and causing it to become a Disney turd. Uh, but the surprise here is that Napoleon is probably going to push Wish down to number three. Uh, Napoleon is its own story. I, I don't know how to gauge these Apple movies because they weren't really expected to make... They were supposed to just go to Apple. And I think the only reason they're in theaters is for Oscars and award nominations. So, you know, I, I don't know what's going on with that. Napoleon, though, going to lose money. I hear it's an okay movie. I actually hear mixed things about it. Uh, it's not... Some of the things I hear about Napoleon is people are mad that it's not historically accurate. And I'm going to tell you, Ridley Scott's... Ridley Scott's movies that are based on history are never historically accurate. You kind of just know what you're getting with him. I just want the movie to be entertaining. And I know some people are complaining that uh, he gets cucked by his wife. Napoleon was, in fact, cheated on by the wife that did not care about him multiple times. But I get the complaint there. So, oh, well, now you're choosing to be historically accurate? So, I, I don't know. I want to see the movie for myself. I'm not going to be able to see it till next week. And then I'll, I'll uh, maybe talk about it on next week's Flashcast. But let's get back to Wish. So they have some remarks on this movie. Let's start here where they start to go through it. Uh, Disney's animation, Disney Animation's Wish came in third on Friday with $8 million behind Apple original production Sony distributed Napoleon, which earned an estimated $8.4 million. Wish and Napoleon are in a tight race for number two with around $32 to $33 million over five days. Who did thunk that happened? More on which I knew it would happen. And notice that projection has went down yet again. 
ladies and gentlemen, because it was originally going to be 45 to 50. Then it was going to be 40 to 44. Now it's looking like it's only going to bring in 32 to $33 million over five days. That's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for Napoleon, but it's more embarrassing for Wish because of the people behind it. I mean, Disney's big. They're not supposed to fail like this. But let's bring it down. They have a breakdown of this, and it's interesting. I want to go through some of this and talk about it. As far as the withering of Wish... It's, it's no surprise that CEO Bob Iger said days before the movie's opening during an earnings call that the studio lost some focus when it comes to the quality of their picks. They're used to winning on both fronts with critics and audiences and the 175 through 200 million production of Wish is not without sour reviews, even with an A- minus cinema score from audiences. Okay, so I want to talk about that cinema score. So the cinema score is based on exit polls for a movie, I believe. And of course it's going to have an A- minus because the only people that are going to see the movie are hardcore Disney fans. <laughs> so, of course, you're not really getting a mix of people that are just going and, and whatever. It's literally, for the box office to be as low as it is, it's literally the diehards of Disney that are there. And it's opening weekend. So that's why, if this movie had been bigger, I think that that would have been lower. But uh, when we start hearing about things, hearing things about the lackluster summer pick of Elemental being one of the biggest movies on Disney+, Plus, it's clear the Mouse House is in competition with itself. That's true. People are like, and that's the thing. A lot of people are like, well, why go see it? I can just watch it on Disney+. Plus." Why would they go see this? Because if it bombs, we all know it's going to be on Disney Plus in two weeks. On the upside, theatrical boosts the downstream potential, but simultaneously, if the movie looks same old, same old, then families aren't rushing out to it. They'll wait for it on Disney Plus, even though Disney executed the best D-Day marketing blitzkrieg during an actor strike with Wish promo partners like McDonald's. Uh, Newman Marcus, Verizon, Cheerios, most viewed trailer on TikTok in first 24 hours, and Synergies on FX, Freeform, Disney+, and ABC with the ladders Dancing with the Stars, Disney's 100 night kicking off a wish sweepstakes. Nobody is rushing in mass to see it, and that's twofold. They've seen this plug-and-play princess before with the silly sidekicks, a talking goat, and puffy star, and they can wait for this. And it's also not clear... In the trailer, what the movie is about. Wishing on stars? That's true. That's actually a pretty good point. The trailer makes no sense. That reminds me of Strange World. The Strange World trailers were even worse because uh, they spent the whole time trying to tell you, like, all... So not just the Strange World trailer. The Strange World trailer didn't tell you anything about the Strange World. I learned nothing. I don't even know, because I didn't watch it, and I'm never going to watch it, but... You would think by a trailer, I would be able to tell, why is this a strange world? Instead, all of the marketing focused on the fact that there was a bisexual and gay person in the movie. So you're not going to tell me anything about the strange world, the plot, or anything. It's just more so to celebrate the fact that there's a person who likes to uh, have sex with certain people. Okay, well, that's not a reason for me to haul my family to the movie. And I'm not the only one that felt that way, obviously, because that movie was a catastrophic flop as well. Why don't you tell people what the movie is about? All of their trailers have been bad. They don't tell you anything in them anymore. So I I actually really agree with that point. None of the marketing. Lightyear did the same thing. Lightyear didn't tell you anything about the story. They just focused on the fact that that woman uh, was a lesbian. That was the big breakthrough on why you needed to see Lightyear. And that's not a draw point for a movie. You need to tell people what the movie is about. Kids don't care about that stuff. They want to know about the movie. This is like this is a big problem with Disney. Disney is more focused on Disney adults than family. This is what's going to kill this company in the long run because they're not passing their shit to generations. A lot of these people are childless. 
and probably, you know, might not even have kids. And no disrespect to anybody that doesn't have kids. Uh, but how a company survives is a family will pass it down. Like, they, you know, that's a big reason why Star Wars has lasted as long as it did. Because a lot of people passed it down to their kids, so on and so on. And that is a big help for something. And Disney isn't getting that anymore. A lot of families are turning turning off and tuning out Disney. And that's a big problem for them. A huge problem. They have lost the family and it shows. Critics observed and smelled this clearly with the Boston Globe's Odie Henderson gripping this fairy tale feels more like a corporate product than a magical event. It's a limp dissertation on Disney's motto that when you wish upon a star, your dreams come true. AP Lindsay Barr pointing out that wishes harmless holiday programming for the family, but it's strange to watch a movie about celebrating the individual star and everyone that feels like it was made by mandate, not a dream. They argued similarities between the 30 million opening of Trolls Band Together and which can be dashed. The former Uni Dreams work animation movie cost 95 million to the latter, which cost double end point. That's another good mo- point right here. Uh, Trolls Band Together only cost 95 million. Wish cost 200 million, which needs which means it needs to make 400 million to make money. And Probably needs to make more than that, to be honest, because I'm just doubling the production because if it were to make $200 million, it doesn't make its money back. $100 million of that has gone to the theaters. And then you need to cost, you need the cost that it, you need how much it costs them to market the movie as well. So this movie's going to lose a shitload of money, just like Elemental did and Strange Worlds and Lightyear, and Marvels, and (laughs) Ant-Man. They just lose money left and right now, and it's their own fault. It's the Marvel. Yeah, here's the Marvels. I was wondering where it was. So look how much money it brought in. Three days, six million. Five day, 8.8 million. Oh, that's pathetic. This movie's not even going to crack. Is it even going to crack 100 million domestic? I don't I, I don't think it's going to. It's only seventy six million domestic. That's pathetic too. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope everyone's having a good Thanksgiving holiday weekend and everything. And uh I will see you guys tonight for Flashcast. Uh comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free, but if you are a supporter over here i do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me also it's a good place to catch all of my content you don't have to worry about notifications like youtube they'll definitely work over here so come check out my locals